What's up guys, it's your man Andua Barber back with another product review and in this one I'm reviewing the new Babyliss FX trimmers from Babyliss the influencers edition the green goblets or green hornets and my black and red ones. If you guys didn't know anything about me I hate the color red. If you could see here the color of my logo is black, red, and white. But these trimmers here are black and red. So I don't know, I guess it's just one of those things. The universe is pulling me towards the color red, but I am not gonna bury my lead in this video. I'm gonna tell you guys right now how I feel about these and then you can choose to listen to the rest of this video. I'm just gonna say it right now. These are my favorite trimmers. So much in fact, I've already got rid of my Gamla Absolute Hitters. I do not use my Slimline Pro LIs anymore and I'm gonna get rid of my silver FX. Now, a bunch of the information in this video will pertain to people who have experience with either the gold FX, the silver FX, the Takashi 6 9 FX. If you've had those, this video is for you. So if you're new to this, this is not. I'm not gonna do an unboxing. It has the same contents as the other Babyliss FX trimmers, just slightly little different colorways as far as little small things like the zero gap tool and blah, blah, blah. But the cord's the same, everything's pretty much the same. But what's different are these trimmers. Now, what's different, obviously, look at the look. It has a matte finish, as you can see. Compared to that of the Silver FX, you can see the nice and shiny look. You know, you get that look, that mag light feel here with that whatever, diamond. But honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I've always hated the feel of this. Touching this trimmer is just, the good thing about that is I wear gloves all the time when I cut hair, so I don't really get to feel this like in this form, like flesh to metal, but I hate this. And I love that they put this rubber grips here. Now, one little critique, Babylon, I wish you would have put a rubber grip here or even up here, because if you guys know, a lot of people put that round rubber grip there because when we're using this trimmer, we're holding it here. You're not gonna be holding a trimmer down like like this and edging up. Like if you're edging up like this, you're gonna look, look like a first day cosmetologist trying to do an edge up like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, no, we're, hold, we're yoking up. Barbers, we're holding it up here, just like with a clipper, we're holding it up here. We're not hold, like some clippers you can get away with holding it down lower on the clipper, but most of the time people are up here. With this trimmer, it's no exception. You're not balding out like this. You're yoked up. So I would have liked for them to put something here and uh, maybe, I know, another idea, right? Maybe make this rubber, this little piece. You know, you can see this is the different colors, like black and red, but that's not rubber. It's like a, I'm gonna assume it's a hard plastic, maybe a metal, but it would have been nice if they would have put a rubber grip right here and right here, just something. So for future reference, Babyliss, if you ever re-engineer these trimmers or re-release something, whatever, please do that because it can cut out on the BS of people having to buy one of those little things and whatever. So who knows, maybe I'll buy one just for that reason. Again, I wear gloves, so it's really null and void, but I do like the fact, another thing I like, is that it's matte. It's not this shiny metal, as you can see. Like these are matte finishes on these. And I absolutely love it because it's not as slippery. Even just, you know, the flesh feeling, like it feels a lot better. Like it feels like I have a much better grip on this versus this slippery metal. You see, like this is slipping out of my hand. This right here, it's not slipping out of my hand. And I'm trying to loosen my grip and it's not slipping. This on the other hand, you hold this thing, you see it's slipping, even when you're here. And I know a lot of people just don't like the feel of this. Now, here's another thing that I love about this trimmer compared to the other ones. Now, I've zero gap these where I can use these on everyone and they actually work really well on everyone. I zero gap these a little bit closer than my Green Goblins. These, hit pretty good and they're still not as harsh. Now these remind me of a modified blade in a sense where it's not harsh on the skin like a modified blade meaning you can bald out really well with this trimmer. It balls out really well. 
it's pretty smooth. It doesn't pull. I haven't had any pulling. I've used it on, I've had time to test this trimmer out. I've had weeks to test this trimmer out on all different hair types and textures. No problems balding out, no problems pulling. It goes through the hair, which is one of the problems I hated about this Silver FX is that it didn't work good on all hair types and textures. This now does. Now it has a DLC 2.0 blade. This trimmer has 7200 RPM. It's not much different than the old ones, the same. But this DLC blade, now I'm not sure if it's what they've done with the blade that's so different, but if you could see here, if you look closely, just based off of my naked eye, the DLC 2.0 blade looks slightly deeper than this Silver FX, which also has a deep tooth. As you can see, this one has slightly deeper teeth than the Silver FX. Now, I don't know if that's the main, like one of the main differences and why this one performs so much better than that Graphite 2.0 blade. But this blade also, another thing I love, you get that crunch. You get the crunch of a T-outliner. You know, if you guys know anything about T-outliners, when you get them set properly and you, and it goes through the hair, you get that you get that with these and oh, it's like a, such a nostalgic feeling. It, it's a throwback in a sense because it's like, man, and it actually goes through the hair. Now, one complaint I have seen is that this blade, it doesn't, you, you know, you, you have to go over it a little bit more than normal, which I've seen that in some cases where I have to go over it a little bit more, but it's one of those things like, hey, you know, especially when you're dealing with cordless trimmers, who doesn't have to go over something maybe one extra time when you're using the cordless trimmers, no matter how powerful they are. Another thing I love about this trimmer, they addressed an issue, and I heard Patty Cuts talking on Chris Bosio's channel, and I don't know if this is one thing that he worked with Babelis on. I've noticed when I was using my Silver FX, when you're trying to do the corner of the box there right here, when you're trying to do a corner, it wouldn't quite get the corner completely. There would always be like a hair or two left. This gets it all. It leaves really sharp corners. When you're trying to leave a nice little L shape, it leaves a really sharp corner. Now, I did hear some people say, oh, the gold FXs are the ones. Like, they're really dope, blah, blah, blah. I haven't used the gold FXs to compare between these, but out of the box, these worked really well. Even these, my Green Goblins, which I didn't like completely murder out. If, when I zero gapped them to my liking, I noticed when you, edge up someone, it really grabs the hair and it grabs the skin, like a modified blade, where you attach it to the skin and you can feel it like gripping onto the skin, but it's not being as harsh as a modified blade would be on the skin when you would get that effect. I've noticed that about this blade and I absolutely love it because that means you're leaving a really crisp, defined line when you attach this blade to the skin and you can feel it grabbing the skin and it's attached to the skin. I hope people can understand what I mean by when I say that. Some people may not know what I mean when I say that, but that also reminds me of a modified blade. But you get that benefit, but again, with the modified blade, you also don't get the side effect of you not being able to bald out with the modified blade because they can be very harsh on the skin until it wears out a little bit. And even then it's still pretty harsh. Like, so I've had plenty of modified blades and they didn't balled out worth the damn. So is this trimmer a cop? Is this worth a buy? In my opinion, if you haven't owned a pair of the silver gold Takashi 69 FX, it's a cop. If you have one of like the silver, again, those trimmers, is this worth a buy? I think it is. I've played with these quite a bit zero gap in them to my liking. Now, if I were to show you these, I'm gonna see if, if this camera would pick this up. You can kind of see here how much there's zero gap. You may not even be able to see the difference between the two, right? You may not even be able to see the difference, but there is a difference in the way both of these trimmers perform. The Green Goblins, I can use these on anyone. So like these are perfect for kids. These red ones, they're just a hair off and it can get, if you talk about the equivalence of blade opens, right? So if you talk about an Andes Master, on the second lever, this can edge up an Andes Master on the second notch. This one, depending on the hair type, you can get a line, you're gonna have to work a little bit more. 
these, when I used to have these zero gap to the fullest, can edge up anything. This can edge up a master's clothes. But that also comes with a consequence. When you zero gap your things to the fullest, where they're fully up to the top, there's gonna be irritation on some clients. You have to have a light hand. Me personally, I don't have a light hand. I don't like to have to feel like I have to have a light hand. Because sometimes you get tired throughout the day cutting hair and you just, you just wanna go in there like a savage and goon it out. You wanna goon their edge up and just whatever. That, I mean, that's just me. I, I'm speaking for me, I mean, if you, if this happens to you, leave it in the comments, I'm curious. But I love the way these are set and how they perform. I can edge up pretty much everyone. If I know someone's edge up wants to be a little bit sharper or you're trying to get that hair that's like really small, I'll grab these. And these still don't leave tons of irritation compared to my murdered out silver effects, which I've actually backed off and I'm actually gonna be giving these away. So guys, smash the like button, leave a comment. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I know how I'm gonna give these away. I'm probably gonna give these away in a podcast, which if you guys don't tune into the Beyond the Chair podcast every Wednesday in the evening, you may wanna do that because I gave away my absolute hitters and I also gave away a pair of cordless masters. So you may wanna tune into the podcast, one, for the good information, and then two, for potentially winning something. But nevertheless, when it comes to these trimmers, these are an absolute major cop. I'm gonna try and leave a link in the description to Amazon to see if you guys can pick these up. I haven't seen them on Amazon, but if there is, I will leave a link in the description to these trimmers or maybe even just the regular FX trimmers, which are still great, but I think with these new additions, these are amazing. As you can see, you know, the colors are different there. Man, I, lo I love these things, guys. I love them. So I don't even need my slim lines. And it's really debatable, will I get rid of my slim lines? Mm, I might, I might, because I can get over, you know, a kid with a little tiny box right here. I can make it happen with these versus just hanging on to my slim lines just for that little small utility of using it on a random kid. And it's not even like I have tons of kid clients. So maybe giving away the silver effects, maybe giving away my slim line pro allies, which actually are modified and they hit really well. So major cop guys, leave your thoughts on these in the comments below. I don't know the price on these trimmers. I'm going to be honest. I got these for a good deal. You know, holler at my man, Jason Barber, an educator. I'll actually try and leave a link to his YouTube channel and his Instagram in the comments below. He could hook you up uh, in finding these trimmers and getting them at a much better price. You know, he sold me these for 130 and he, he used these and he sold them to me a week later for 105. So, I mean, I, I think I left out like a thief in the night with that sort of deal. But major cop guys, I appreciate you for tuning in. It's been your man, I do a signing out. I'll holler.